。佢唔系喺度演奏紧，而系帮部钢琴做紧音质测试。呢度系位于多伦多嘅一间钢琴店铺工厂，每日会有专业嘅修理钢琴技师为新旧钢琴作检查同维修。唔好以为呢座德国制嘅全新钢琴就一定冇问题，一开箱就可以即刻用。有三十七年研究钢琴经验嘅店铺创办人 Robert Lowry 指出，其实一部钢琴于运送时会经过天气温差变化、湿度转变，又或者于移动时唔小心喐到内部零件。所以即使系全新嘅钢琴，都应该要俾专业嘅钢琴技师做过详细检查。Pianos are not like TV sets or washing machines where you should see it open on a box on your front lawn. Even the very best piano should be pre-serviced. Uh, the tuning has to be stabilized. Uh, the actions are re-regulated. Some people may think that when they help the piano tune, it's already a good treatment. But the piano tuner says, Every year, one to three times the tuning is done. There are other tuning tasks to do, but many people are very good at it. Eight to twelve years, as you play it, the touch is changing. Notes act differently. The mechanical system is designed to be regulated. As you hit the different hammers, they start getting harder, and make one's hammer will make a different sound than another. Rob 指出，大部分從歐洲進口比較優秀嘅古舊鋼琴，至少都有八十至一百年歷史。用咗咁耐，鋼琴嘅內外都有唔少地方要修整。所以要花非常長嘅時間先能夠翻身得到，好似呢部於一八九四年製造、有一百二十年歷史嘅加拿大鋼琴咁，裡面啲零件已經完全老化，要整翻好呢部鋼琴，起碼要一百五十個小時。所以如果真係救唔翻嘅琴，一般會掉去堆填區，又或者捐俾慈善機構，運到牙買加或墨西哥等國家送俾有需要嘅人。The finish gets aged and worn looking. The machine part of the piano, the moving parts that go up and down, wear out like any machine. The stress of all the strings being pulled crack the soundboard and bridges. Usually, you have to do if you want it to look nice, to restring it and restore how the soundboard works. To put in, we can still get all the machine parts because they're the same today as they were a hundred years ago. This factory has a very experienced piano engineer, Rob. He says that each piano has about 88 strings. 最少有二百二十至二百三十條琴弦，所以翻身鋼琴嘅過程一般比調音複雜得多。鋼琴技師需要有一定嘅專業知識。That wonderful person might have to know how to refinish the outside of the piano, which is one whole different skill. To be able to build bridges and repair soundboards and make new pin blocks, which requires a lot of carpentry skills, might have to have very good ear for voicing and tuning, and then the patience to do the mechanical work. 好似钢琴技师阿坡咁，自一九七九年已经开始帮人修理钢琴，至今已经累积咗三十五年经验。佢对钢琴充满热诚，而且亦拥有唔少专用工具，会令佢调教到钢琴嘅音色更精准。好似呢个感应器就可以测量到钢琴同地面嘅水平，准确到量度到一千分之一寸嘅差别噶。This is a very important thing for leveling the keys. Some pianos in uh, institutions that get lots of play, uh, when you look at the keys on either side, they're, they're nice here, but the keys are smiling. In the middle, you have to press even harder to get the jack of the, of the uh, mechanism to slip out. 现今钢琴平均寿命为三十至四十年，翻身过后嘅钢琴睇落会好似新嘅一样，可以继续用多三十至四十年。但 Rob 话，近呢二十年愿意花钱去翻身钢琴嘅人有减少迹象，主要原因系唔划算。由于翻身一部钢琴嘅时间，普通嘅都超过一百小时，如果系大型三角琴，就要几百小时添。所以翻身鋼琴嘅收費亦相對較昂貴，一座普通鋼琴要一萬至二萬蚊加幣，而大型三角琴則要兩至三萬蚊加幣。但對比起買個新嘅琴，普通嘅都只係三千五百蚊到九千蚊加幣，而大型三角琴就大概賣八千至一萬八千蚊加幣。翻身一部鋼琴仲貴過買一座新嘅成兩至三倍。所以，如果唔係因為部鋼琴有特別意義或者係歷史，肯俾錢翻身嘅人並唔多。現今鋼琴價格漸趨大眾化，係由於經歷咗一個歷史上嘅重大生產改革。
。第二次世界大战之后，虽然欧洲系世界上出产最优质手制钢琴嘅地方，但随住科技嘅进步，厂商逐渐放弃全人手制造嘅概念，改为利用机器去大量生产钢琴。好似日本、韩国、中国同埋印尼等生产商都加入制造钢琴。由於製造成本平咗，因此售價亦隨之降低。Japanese reinvented how pianos are made. Even a big factory a hundred years ago would only make five or six thousand pianos, whereas in Japan, they took out the human element for the most part, and they were able to make good, dependable pianos uh, and um, make forty or fifty thousand instead of three or four thousand. 虽然钢琴价格变得大众化，不过因为现今社会娱乐选择多咗，所以即使仲有唔少华人嘅家庭会俾子女学弹琴，但主流社会整体仍然少咗新一代有兴趣学钢琴，导致琴行多年嚟经历唔少重大影响。好似于一八九零年代，北美洲嘅钢琴总销量下跌咗六成，而二零零三年嘅经济衰退期，亦间接导致加拿大有二十七间琴行被迫结业。钢琴行业日渐式微，当然亦影响到钢琴技师嘅收入。一个钢琴技师要累积数以十年嘅经验先可以成为专业，但而家市场需求日渐减弱，令到佢哋都难以为生，所以越嚟越少人投身维修钢琴呢一行。You'd have to be really passionate to want to go into, because frankly, it's the last six or seven years has been another period of contraction. Manufacturers have closed. There has been less interest. Our sales are still considerably down from 2008-2009. 虽然面对重重困境，但呢班钢琴技师都继续用心修理好每一座钢琴，为嘅都只系希望下一代能够延续钢琴嘅音乐文化。其实钢琴因为广阔、音色洪亮，而且又能够弹奏出抒情嘅音乐，希望大众能够多啲欣赏同弹奏呢个被誉为乐器之王嘅乐器。